So this question says, which of the following functions has a maximum value of m where m is a positive constant? So m has to be the maximum and it has to be positive. So whenever we see this term maximum, it usually on this test has to do with a parabola, right? A downward facing parabola that has a vertex which becomes its maximum. That's typically what's gonna happen here. And by looking at the answer choices, I'm going to say that we're on the right page with thinking that because all of these answers, if you were to graph them, will give you parabolas. So we just have to find the parabola where the m represents the maximum and that that m value is a positive constant. So for choice A, for instance, if we were to graph this, our graph would look just like this. It'd be a, actually, that's not true. It would be an upward facing parabola with a vertex at the origin, which means our vertex is there, which means we actually don't have a maximum, we actually have a minimum, which automatically makes this incorrect. And then the m value, because it's just multiplied by the x squared, really only impacts like how wide or how narrow our equation, our graph is here. And before I move on, let's just review really briefly where all this is coming from. So here is the equation for a parabola. So at least one way to think of it, y equals plus or minus a, it's the way that I like to think of it, x plus or minus h squared plus or minus k. And in this case, right, a positive sign here means a parabola is facing upward. A negative sign means it's facing downward. Your a value has to do with the width of the parabola. A plus h here means you're shifting to the left. That's why the arrow is pointed to the left. A negative h means you're shifting right h units. So if you have a term here away from the squared, outside of the parentheses, a positive k means you're shifting up k units, and a negative k means you're shifting down k units. So even with reviewing that, we pretty much can say that our answer has to be choice C. Here's why. For choice B, our m is still kind of in the a, it's in the a position, which just has to do with width. We want our m to be the maximum, so that's why b is gone. However, our m in choice c is in the k position, which and it's positive, which means if we were to graph this, we take a parabola that started off like this, right? That would be our y equals negative x squared, and then it's shifted upward m units. Let's call, let's say that's m units. So our parabola would now look like this, where m is now actually the maximum. And the equation would be y equals that negative x squared, but shifted up, right? So plus m units. So choice C is the correct answer for that reason. Choice D, um, choice, choice D, the m is in the h position, right? So that's a horizontal shift. We'd be shifting to the left m units, which would not create a maximum um, at m at all. It would still be zero for the y. In fact, I'll graph it for you. I shift left m units, so let's say that's m, which would technically be negative m. Our parabola would face down here. And the this point here would be negative m comma zero, basically. And the question said that we want m to be a positive constant. This would be a negative one. So that's why d is incorrect. So choice c is the best answer here.